sing the whole day long, it's not enough. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com, and I wanted to come to you just really quickly and talk about Chris Trine, I'm Right Here. Yes, he has out a seven track EP with an extra eighth bonus track, and I was wondering why he was out with a project before even Melanie Amaro, right? But it's probably because he writes his own material and probably had a notebook full of ideas, you know, to kick around and stuff to start off his first project. So, I wanted to hear how it sounded, and of course I listened to it, I'm gonna let you guys know what I thought. It opened up with a nice uplifting song called Chains. I like the feel of it from the minute he hit the chorus. I mean, it was just really, really nice. I like uplifting music, things that are meant to lift your spirit. And are you ready to break these chains? It was just a great message, a powerful message to me. And it had a nice sound, a nice beat, and he sounded good. His voice sounded good on it. Next we came rocking with you. It was a little more laid back, but with the solid beat and a very summery feel. I mean, it sounded like that kind of thing you listen to, like just chilling out and, and, and the heat and, and relaxing in the summertime sun, you know? And his voice and the interplay between the separate tracks I thought was really, really nice. Back from the Dead, the third track, started out something like an anthem to me. And from what I remember of his voice, this was probably quite a challenge for him in the studio because, you know, he didn't have the strongest vocal, the, the singing voice. He had a really good rap style, but not the strongest singing voice. And this had him doing quite a bit of, you know, big notes and in his, in his higher range. And it came off very well to me. I don't know how much of it was auto-tune and how much of it was, you know, what they did in the studio, but it sounded very good. Trouble. 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 There's a lot of trouble songs out there, and Chris Renee decided he wanted to bring you his own, okay? It had me kind of thinking of the lazy song just because of the instrumentation, but it was very simple and straightforward. It tells of that girl that you gotta run from, <laughs> but you can't get her out of your mind. All right, boy, you better work it. It was a nice poppy songwriting uh, thing for me, just very, very nice and, and radio friendly, very radio friendly. Gonna Be Okay came on, and it was another hard beat uplifting message. He tried to go a little hard on the rap here, you know, and I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure that I was feeling it, you know. <laughs> but I definitely play it often because, it, again, it was uplifting and it was just a nice feel to it. I, I like the, the, the uh, message in the hook. I mean, I really like uplifting messages in the music that I listen to and this was one that brought it in spades. Love Me Like You had my shoulders jerk and I was head bouncing, you know, and all that. And he was doing the sing-songy thing. If you ever watched my reviews of him, his rapping has this sing, a lot of the time, has the sing-songy quality, you know, and I really like that when he does that. I like that best about what he does. He has that sing-songy kind of thing. It's not, it's not really rap, you know, like this hard rap, and it's not really singing. It's something in between, and it really is just... I don't know, it's, it's catchy, it, 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 it just really makes me feel good, it sounds good. <laughs> oh, and I wrote you a Dougie to this one, you know, it, it had that really good, that feel, you could get the Dougie out on it, and I, and I was doing it while I was listening to it. Young Homie, the song that everybody knows that he dish, auditioned with on X Factor, um, his most well-known song, he got to perform twice, and it's all about the storyline in this song, and what they did in it was, it had a great beat. They added a really great beat to it. He has that sing-songy delivery, and they smooth out the vocals a bit. And it's just the diction is crisp, so they make sure that you really get to hear what this story was about. And that really, I think, was a good thing to kind of separate it from his live performance and the other you know, releases of the song that he has had because they really wanted to get into the story and they really just, I mean, just really crisp. If you listen to it, even compared to some of the other tracks on the, on the EP, it is just very crisp, clear. The vocals are very forward and it's just very well presented so that you can get the message. And Tidal Wave is the bonus clip and I only got to listen to a snippet of it on iTunes. It sounded catchy and beady and all that good stuff. So overall, for the EP, I thought it was very good. I thought it was very catchy. All the music was very good. Very radio friendly. And I think that's what he needs for his first project. And that's what he's got. So I hope the radio is going to be playing this a lot. And that it's a very successful project. Go and check it out. 
once again that is Ram right here from Chris Rene who was not the winner but was in the finals of X Factor last season. All right, this is Robert Anton, RobertAnton.com. I'm out. I could sing the whole day long. It's not enough.